Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Um, I I warned you I had a lot of hauls coming and this is another one, uh, the very beginning of many. This haul will be from Beautylish and I have been looking forward to opening these boxes since I purchased these items in I think October of last year. So, if you're interested in seeing what I've got from Beautylish, stay tuned. Whew. Okay, we're going to start. This is the biggest one I've got here, and uh, I don't remember, except for a few items that I know for a fact are in these boxes, God's Honest Truth, I don't remember what's in them. But I'll tell you, one thing you have to, well obviously I've got Natasha Denona in here because it's wrapped up in uh, Natasha's paper. It's the same paper that uh, was around my 28 palettes when I got those. One thing I, I just have to say right off the bat, um, if you've purchased from Beautylish before, you know exactly what I'm going to say, I'm sure. If you haven't, <laughs> all I can say is, in my experience, if there's an item that I can purchase from Beautylish and Sephora, and I have an option, I usually will select Beautylish. Um, the reason why is... Uh, their customer service is incredible. Their shipping time, spot on. This whole Sephora two-day flash shipping is a bunch of bullpucky. Okay, I just received my order, my, uh, what do you call it, VIB Rouge order. It took a week and a half to get that, and it didn't even ship until after I called them to find out what the heck was going on. So, I, you know, when, when Sephora says two-day shipping... I don't believe it for a minute. Um, I can honestly say that out of all the orders I've placed with Sephora, and there have been a lot of them, about 10% of them have come today. But when it comes to Beautylish, not only uh, do they ship things out faster than I think any company I've ever dealt with in my entire life, and I've purchased online from, I've literally placed thousands and thousands and thousands of orders online. Uh, I've never received stuff as prompt as I have from Beautylish. Um, and on top of that, their presentation, the care that they take... <laughs> ah, hello there. The care that they take with packaging stuff. Uh, I'll just show you as I open this because it's too impossible to do it this way. Um, as an example, you know, each item is wrapped and has a little tie on it. That must be my bioderma. I can feel that. Let me just get these out of here and see. Oh, here we go. I can tell you exactly when I purchased this stuff. Good Lord. October 28th. So I was right. It was back in October. October 28th, people. That's how long this stuff has been sitting here waiting until I show you so that then I can start playing with it. And boy, I'll tell you, I know what's in this bag. Woo, Lord have mercy. I have been so anxious to get into this. But anyways, I mean, you look at, you know, everything you get from Beautylish. It's like receiving Christmas every time you order because, you know, and, and no shade to Sephora and other companies like that, but... You know, I mean, I get an order from Sephora, and, you know, it's probably an automated system that just dumps stuff into a box after somebody puts a, a, you know, one of the poopy things in it. It's not like that with Beautylish. You can tell that, it, I mean, look at that. Care is taken with every single item. Um, it's all packed in here beautifully. It's, you know, you receive it in, you know, and because of the way it's packaged, not only is it lovely to unwrap, but when you receive the items, they're not, you know, they're in good shape. So let's start with this first box only has a few things in it, so I don't, like I said, excuse the noise. I mean, even, you know, after the paper, it's, you know, secured in bubble wrap very well, I might add. I mean, they just, they take such care, and it means the world to me. 
Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Now, I'm very, very anxious to try this. This is the Bioderma. Uh, and, of course, this is... Uh, did I get the wa removes waterproof one? I think I did. This is a sensitive skin. Hmm. I guess I bought the wrong one. I don't know. Uh, what I like about this particular one, though, is it has a pump on top. So I can just, you know, and fill up my little cotton swabs or what have you and use it. I'm going to plan on doing a review of this one compared to the, uh, what is it, Garnier, I think is the one that I've been using that looks very you know, similar color packaging-wise. I think they're kind of trying to dupe this. I've heard a lot of wonderful things about Bioderma. It's um, a lot more expensive than the Garnier one, of course, but uh, we'll see how it works. So I will keep you updated on that. I'm going to save what's in that bag for the last thing because <laughs> I know what's in it. And boy, have I been anxious. I don't know what's in this, though. Oh! You see, it's so fun to open stuff after a long time because what is that? Oh, because you forget what you ordered. Oh, I'm so anxious to try this. Now, as you all know, and I buy this from Beautylish as well, my favorite, I talk about it probably in every video, this is my By Terry Balm de Rose. This actually comes in, if you've watched my videos, you've seen it, it comes in a jar, and it's, um, I have to smell it, it's a cream, you know, a thicker cream, as you can see, it's like almost gone which makes me have heart palpitations. But I bought this one. And this, let's see here, this is uh, just says by Terry Balm de Rose Protection Intense Lip Care, Nourishing, Soothing, Regenerating. If I remember correctly, this is basically the liquid version of what's in, oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty, pretty, pretty? You gotta give By Terry credit. She uh, she definitely knows how to package stuff so it looks nice. Let's smell it. Yep, smells the same. Oh God, I'm gonna love this. I can tell already. To have it in a formula that's got a nice doe foot on it, real fluffy, nice one, and filled with product on both sides. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but. It has that classic Balm de Rose fragrance, and boy, I can't wait to try this. I really, really can't wait. And that's a good amount you get in there. What is that? Let's see, it's uh, 0.23 fluid ounces or 7 mils, so you're getting a good amount in there. Okay, moving along. I just love, and see, you know, these are sugar pill, I think these are sugar pill shadows I ordered, but see how, I mean, you know, the care that's taken with wrapping every individual item so that they don't break. Yeah, it means a lot to me. Okay, the first one, yeah, these are pressed eyeshadows. What color is this one? Bulletproof. Did I order bullet? I didn't know I ordered bulletproof. Huh, I'll be darned. I think this is the block. Yeah, it is. This is black, 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 black. And Sugar Pill has, from my understanding, one of the blacker eyeshadows on the market, so I'm anxious to try that one. And then the other one I got was Love Plus. There are several. As a matter of fact, I'd love to have all the Sugar Pill shadows. My daughter loves them too for her looks, but beautiful color. Look at that. I want that one that's all symbols too, that's a reddish shade. Okay. Next, oh, I know what these are. These are my last Jeffree Star order, I think. Oh, some of them are. Oh, yeah. I didn't know I ordered another one of these. Okay, um, guess I ordered another one of these. I'm not quite sure why, probably to give Brie one, but this is Inglot's Duraline. Uh, if there is a product out there that I recommend everyone have, whether you are a makeup artist or not, is Duraline. And again, this is by Inglot. And it's, I'm telling you, this is the most incredible product because you can take, I don't, I don't care if it's a pressed shadow or if it's a loose pigment, uh, anything. I mean, you literally can take any kind of product and mix it with a drop of Duraline and you have got an instant eyeliner. You've got um, you know, if you're somebody that likes to do editorial work or 
art, you know, artistic, impressionistic type makeup, you know, you can use that to, you know, paint on your flowers or what have you. Because literally, it, it turned this little magic baby right here turns anything into a liquid, uh, and boy does it stay, I'm telling you. Okay, then we have three different colors here from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have Gemini, Watermelon Soda, and Doll Parts. So let's take these out one at a time and I'll swatch them for you real quick. This is Gemini. Ooh! That's got a really strong fragrance. Wow, I can I can tell what he was going for with this one because I could pick up on the root beer. But I don't think um, I don't think this is a good fragrance to use in liquid lipstick because it kind of smells root beer and kind of smells cat pee. Not being rude, it's just you know, of course the scent usually goes away in any kind of lipstick pretty quickly. So okay, again there is Gemini. And I will let these dry and then show you after because again these are his velour liquid lipsticks that they dry to matte. And I wanted to get the entire collection. I'm not quite sure where I'm at with continuing that at this point, but we'll see. Okay, this is watermelon soda. Beautiful color. Of course I love anything pink. You could, you know. But it does not, you know, I can tell you the difference on it. This one has no, you know, his newer ones now have kind of a click closure. This one doesn't. It's just spin the top and spin right off. Has no, nothing holding the lid on. Damn, that smells good. Now that right there, that's the way Jeffree Star should be doing his fragrances if he's going to put fragrances in these. Oh my God. That smells straight up like Jolly Rancher, Watermelon Jolly Rancher, which is my all-time favorite candy. Oh, it's a beautiful color. Beautiful color. And it's perfect for this time of year. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So that's Watermelon Soda. Now this was out of his summer collection last year, but I'm pretty sure that Beautylish still has this color available. Um, and I, I'm not sure if he has it on his website or not, but last time I looked on Beautylish, they still had this because I want to get his, I wanted to get his newest colors along with his androgyny palette. Um, you know, I wanted to get the ones from the uh, Manny collection so that you know I had those. And uh, Brianna really, really wants the androgyny palette. So, anyways, I was on there looking. I haven't ordered it yet. I don't, you know. But uh, I was on there looking and I saw this one on there. But that is a gorgeous color. So if you're looking for, even though this is from last year's collection, you can still wear it this year just like I'm going to. Doll Parts. And this is another one I was really excited about. Again, because it's pink, you know. It's one thing I love about, you know, his line is his colors are right up my alley. This is more of a mauve pink. No scent at all. You know, he's got it. That's the one thing. He's got to get the consistency down in these because, you know, as a consumer, you like this. Look, see, listen. Hear that? That one's got a perfect snap on it. This one? Nothing. Oh, I hit it really hard and it went. Oh, now that's interesting. I really have to push it hard, but it does have a snap closure. Um, anyways, here's doll parts. So we have Gemini, Watermelon Soda, and doll parts. And if you'd like to see, I have more colors coming, believe it or not, in this, in this Beautylish haul because I know I ordered his uh, winter collection too. So there'll be more coming here, but if you'd like to see me do an actual lip swatch video of all these new colors, or even my entire collection I have of his, let me know and I'd be happy to do it. But, uh, you know, he's got to get the consistency down. He's not only got to get the consistency of formula down, because some of them are very watery, very oily feeling, whereas some of them are very thick, like his metallics. 
Um, you know, I've got a few of them, that, like the uh, red metallic one. What the hell's the name of that one? Oh, hell, I can't remember. Um, mine is so thick now, I can't even put it on. I mean, it will not spread over my lips. It's just, it's like it's turned into glue. You know, it's really disappointing to spend money on something like that, and you love it, and have it go tits up. So, that and this fragrances, you know, some of them, I can understand the watermelon one because that was for a summer collection. But, you know, I mean, he's got to get the fragrances down. If he's going to add fragrances, you got to be consistent with it. Unless, at least, in my opinion, unless you're doing, you know, a special collection like the summer collection where you make them scent like that. But, you know, like some, like pink, you know, a pink color or something, you know, root beer, I mean, uh, anyways. Oh, here we go. The first of my very first Wayne Goss brushes. Oh, 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 I've been so excited to get these. So excited. Of course, they've been sitting there since October, but I had to wait till I could record. Okay, do these have... Okay, this is the number 16. I don't want to take them out of their packages yet because I'm not going to remove them until I actually use them. Wow, that's very soft. But I'll show you what the brush head looks like. This is number 16. And um, they're solid black. Feral, and is it all one unit? Can't tell. No, I don't think it is. Hmm. Anyways, very nice on that one. And then this one is... The numbers are really difficult to see because they're just so light. 17 is this one here. Oh yeah, that's really soft. I'm going to love that one. That's number 17. Beautiful. See the way it's pinched at the ferrule there and kind of goes, poofs out and narrow again? I'm going to love that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah. I've been so excited about this. So you can imagine what these are. And what a nice bag they sent me to keep, you know, to like, travel with these to keep them in. Okay, so we got... Oh, mama. Oh, mama. I've been so excited to get into these. Okay, this is Wayne Goss The Face Set. Does it say anything else? Uh, handcrafted in Kumano, is it Kumun, Kumano, Japan, from the softest natural hair bristles, exclusively on Beautylish. Should be at Beautylish, but that's okay. Okay, let's have to open this. You open it up, and they're all. What is that? Wayne Goss the face set. Love your new brushes. Show the world. And then they have a little how to care for your face brushes thing in there. Nice little tube to keep them in. And again, see what I mean? You know, everything's wrapped. Just lovely. Individually wrapped. So it's, you know, it literally is like Christmas. Oh, look at these beauties. Now he just came out with a new set, which just kills me because... If I remember correctly, he replaced, um, oh, I can't remember which brush it was. I think it was his foundation brush. And I so want that set. Oh, man. Okay, so here's his face. This is the face set, right? That's what it's called? Yeah, the face set. So I'll show you. Here, let's go through as quick as I can. This is, I think, the one he replaced in the new set. This is the number 10. Beautiful. My god, that's soft. Oh. Wow, that is that is really really soft. Uh number 13. Oh, wow. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love how it's tapered and flares up. Real nice. Let's see number 12. Oh, that's a pretty one. Oh, that feels so, they just feel so lovely. Look at the shine. You can see the conditioning of the bristles, the shine they put off. It's almost like a healthy sable puts off that shine, you know? Oh, there. you just have no idea. I had no idea how soft these were until I'm touching them right now. Uh, this is number 11. Mmm, beautiful. 
They're, they're just, they're exquisitely soft. You know, the only thing about brushes of this quality, I don't know if anybody else is like this, but sometimes it, I hate to use them because I don't want to get them dirty, but you want to use them because they're so incredible. This is number 14. I mean, they're just, oh my god. Feeling how soft they are, I can just imagine how they glide across the face and uh, pick up product. Okay, and then we have number 15, which is his fan brush. It's got some bristles that are a little mucked up, but it sure feels, oh, it feels lovely. And that's his fan brush. Oh, I cannot wait. These are beautiful, Wayne. I literally, I will be getting, of course, a in-depth review on all of these uh, because I'll be using them. Okay, next thing here, and I'm not going to give just a quickie, you know, what I think of them. I can't tell you what I think of them until I use them. Okay, this is Wayne Goss, the anniversary set, and again, says the same thing. Exclusive shouldn't be exclusive on, well, I guess it could. It should be at Beautylish, not on Beautylish, because while they're technically they're not technically on Beautylish. They're on Beautylish's website. Okay, and again, comes with a little how-to care for your brushes. And again, they're all wrapped lovely as per standard with Beautylish. Okay, here's the one that was replaced. I was wrong. This is the one he replaced, not the previous one. Um, and looking at the one he replaced it with, I can see why, and I think I'd, I haven't used this yet, but I think I'd probably prefer that one. Oh, now I like this better because he's got these printed in like a purple, like a lilac shade on here, as opposed to the face set, which was just barely like a light gray, real hard to read against the black. Okay, this is the number one here and again this is the one if I'm I'm almost positive this is the one he replaced in his new set and you know <clears throat> the reason I say I know for a fact I like it that much better is because when I looked at purchasing this set this is the only brush that I looked at and thought uh, you know I wasn't sure if it was a brush I would get a lot of use out of so when I saw the brush that he replaced that with, I was like, oh, yeah, I'd really like that one. And, you know, there's only a few brushes I'm missing now besides the brand new set. Um, it's the big face brushes, which I'd really like to get. But they're, Beautylish is always sold out, no matter how many times I look and make sure it's not my teeth. They're always sold out. Okay, but I sure like to get them. This is the number two. Beautiful brush. Absolutely beautiful. And they're, they're just, I can't stress to you how exquisitely soft these are. Just absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, here's the number three. Really beautiful brushes, but they don't want to come out of their plastic. There we go. Oh, this is one I'll use a lot. Look at that. I love how he's got some of these pinched at the ferrule where they're more where they you know they're more narrow here and then they kind of bulge out and then they come back to a tip to a point. I really like that style a lot. Um, it works very well with the shape of my eye and my hooded eyes in particular. So these are very the shape of these brushes, how they're constructed is very appealing to me. Number four. God, these are gorgeous. Just absolutely so excited to get into these. It took a lot of willpower to not dig these out. Number five, which is like a small pencil brush. A lot of willpower. Oh, number six. See there again with the pinched trail and now comes back to a point. Really, really like that design. Number seven, and boy, I'm an, I'll get a lot of use out of this little detailer. See how thin that is? Nice. And lastly, we have number eight, which is a very, very tiny, fine little guy, but I will use that as well, especially getting in close to 
your lash line on top and bottom. So that is the anniversary set. So anyways, these are my uh, first Wayne Goss brushes and uh, I'll tell you one thing, this is the first time I've ever except for a Tom Ford brush I have coming up in an upcoming haul. This is the first time in 48 years of my life I've ever spent money buying myself a really nice brush set. So, um, I can't wait. I mean, you know, I've earned it, right? I'll let you know in a future. You'll see me use these in tutorials, um, of course, but I will definitely let you guys know in a future review what I think of them. Okay, moving along. We have this little guy that says fragile, so we'll put her aside. Sorry, this is going to be a long one, folks, but I'm going as fast as I can. See what I mean? Everything's just put together beautifully, packaged beautifully. I just you can't knock them for this, I'm telling you. Look, I mean, every single item. Oh, did I get some more? Oh. Okay, let's see what this one, when this was ordered from. This is from November 18th. So these are different orders, but we're just going to do them all together so that, you know, what the heck. It's going to be a longer video, but I love watching hauls, so hopefully you do too. Oh yeah, it looks like I got some more. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> okay, it looks as though what I was doing is finishing out my collection because in here we have uh, the airbrush and then 18, 19, and number 18, 19, and 20. So I know this is the airbrush. I know that for a fact. Oh god, that feels lovely. See how he does that pinch ferrule? I love how the ferrule pinches like that and then comes to a point. Just absolutely love it. And then we have, do these have numbers on them? Yes. Okay, so the airbrush is the only one that doesn't have a number on it, I guess. God, these just feel lovely. Here's number 18. Number 19. Yeah, see, so I was trying, I was working on trying to get the whole collection. Of course, now I released another one, so now I'm behind again. <sighs> and, and of course, when I got these, I was working, so I can't hardly read them. I wish you'd make his numbers a little bit easier to read on here. That's the only thing I don't like is that they're very hard to read. And when you're doing a tutorial and telling people numbers on things, you know. And there's another, that's number 20, which is a uh, pencil brush. This one comes to a point. The other one was a rounded end. So, excited about that. Four more to go in my collection. And let's see what's in here, because I do not remember, honest to God. Oh, oh boy, I might save those for another video. Well, no, maybe not. Let's open this one and see what's in here. Oh, I forgot about <laughs> got everything. I bought the brush guards <clears throat> and this one's a variety pack. Uh, two variety, three variety packs I guess I purchased and what they come with is one extra small, two small, two medium, and one large. And basically what these do, if you can see the picture there, is you place them on your brushes and you wash, squeeze your brush out, slide it into the the little thingy doohickey here and then dry them uh, brush point down so feral down and these help keep the shape of your brush never tried them have no idea if they work or how they work so I will let you know now this here is an entire bag and my god have I been excited to get these an entire bag of the Charlotte Tilbury uh, these are, what are the eyes to memorize? No, these aren't the eyes to memorize. What are these? These, yeah, these are the eyes to memorize. And I think I got all of them. At least all of them that were available in November. <laughs> Let's do this. How about, I'm just going to swatch them 
as quick as I can because I know people are going to want to see them. But I'll tell you this much, I will be using these um, in a future tutorial. Many, many of them many times over because while there may be a lot of people out there, you know, I hear people come, I hear several, especially I noticed with younger makeup lovers, I hear them talking about how much they don't like cream products. Okay, well, let me tell you this, and I know this for a fact, because <laughs> I'm there, honey. As you get older, you start to really love cream products, because cream products look extremely uh, they, you know, they they just look really nice on mature skin. So, okay, let's see. So let's just go through these. I'll swatch them as best as I can on my hand. The first one, just to show you what the container looks like, the beautiful classic Charlotte Tilbury, and you get. Uh, Let's see here, 0.24 ounces or 7 millimeters. And again, these are the eyes to memorize and they're long lasting, easy color. And it says uh, apply with an eye blender brush and build up color for an easy, flattering day look to a dazzling, smoky eyes to memorize. So basically, you know, you can put them on very calm and mellow or you can really crank them up for nighttime and isn't that an absolutely beautiful color oh my god oh they feel oh wow now this is my first time um, touching these having any experience with them at all oh they feel lovely look at that you guys again this is Cleopatra let me zoom in a little bit there, that way you can see them better. <clears throat> Cleopatra, isn't that gorgeous? Now remember, the, this is a product that, you know, I've put it on in a heavy swatch here. But just to give you an idea, this is a product that you can really, you know, I'm doing it backwards here, let me, this is a product that you can put on like heavy on the lid if you wanted to, to really get that impact, and then you can just blow it out, blend it out as you go up. I mean, they're just absolutely gorgeous. The feel of these is exquisite. Just my first impression. I've never tried these. Um, I have. I'm getting a huge. I just love Charlotte Tilbury's products, so I really have been working to try and grow my collection of her products because I really have an appreciation for the quality. Okay, moving along to the next one, and they all come in the, you know, brown, oh, one of my boxes is all smashed, that's too bad. Okay, this color is Jean. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Look at that champagne gorgeousness. And, you know, there's a lot of product in here. You only need... I mean, you see how much I'm putting on my finger, and that's too much for even the swatch I'm doing. You'll see how much impact that amount of product has, and it's still all over my finger. See it there? That's gorgeous. Again, that's Jean. A little bit of product goes a long ways with these. You know, that's one of the things I absolutely love, love about cream products is they're so versatile and in my opinion I think cream products are even more affordable than powdered products because of the wear you get out of them. Um, you get so much in here and it, it would take a lot to use these up. Okay next color is Marie Antoinette. Oh that's gorgeous! Charlotte! Oh my darling! Look at that! like a titanium almost. Oh, God. oh, that's beautiful. It's like a, reminds me of old brass. Old time brass, not old, old, you know what I mean. Look at it right there. Oh, look at these, you guys. Look at that. And you can see the difference between Jean and Marie Antoinette there. Oh, oh, oh. Man, am I going to have fun with these? I just think, you know, people worry about 
creams um, creasing and stuff like that, when you've got a quality product like this and you've got a good base on underneath it, you don't have to deal with that. Okay, this one is Mona Lisa. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Too? Oh, Jesus. She really uh, selected some just stunning colors for this collection. I mean, look how much product's in there. You know, that's, that's a heck of a lot of product. And I'm just using an itty bitty bitty little, the very tip of the point is what I'm using. And you'll see the color impact it has. Oh, this is gorgeous. Now, see, that is absolutely an everyday color that I would wear. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I know I'm saying that word 50 million times, but that is Mona Lisa. This one is... Is it Bet? I don't know if it's Bet or Betty. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Much more gold than that. Mm. She really selected a good grouping of colors that people commonly wear. There's there's Bet or Betty. I'm not sure which one. I think it's Bet. Isn't that beautiful? It's spelt like Bet Medler, so it's probably. But looking at the history of the names here, I'm not sure. Anyways, okay. Oh, my box is all broken on this one. I'm going to have to do some repair work on you. This one is Vershuka. Oh, that's gorgeous. Now that is like pure steel. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I can't wait. to. No, oh, this has got a lot of green in it. Now that color. <laughs> it's another one I will use big time. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. A lot of these colors, because of the impact that they have, the nature of the color itself, uh, my box is all destroyed. Um, these are definitely colors that will work on that uh, will work nicely on women of color as well. So, well, I'm really happy with those. You know, it's uh, Charlotte Tilbury. For those of you who don't know, used to, if I remember correctly, she used to be the head of Tom Ford's line. So if that tells you anything about the quality of her line. Yeah, I think I'm going to break this into you guys. Because I still have three more boxes. And uh, yeah, this has already been incredibly long. If you're interested in seeing the rest of this Beautylish haul, keep an eye out for part two because it should be soon after this. Thanks so much for watching our video. We'd love it if you subscribe and be a part of our growing family. I've got uh, a lot of fun stuff I'm hauling. Brianna's got some stuff she's going to be hauling and doing in the and recording in the future and a makeup look she's going to be doing. We've got a giveaway coming up when we reach 500 subscribers. So there's a lot of fun stuff we're going to be having. So we'd love it if you'd stick with us. I hope life's treating you good. If you're having challenges out there, I hope you're meeting them head on and persevering. I love you always. Until next time.